Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Cooler Review. I have the Honey Monster here uh, with the Rhino. Uh, we are drinking Real Rock Hard Peach. Hard as a rock, yeah! Now, Real Rock Hard the Peach is 5.5% alcohol. Yeah, we bought this, retarded. well, we, this was picked up at a beer store because it's a malt liquor. <laughs> And it was in the Real Rock Party Pack. Oh, wow. Because it's not truly a party until someone's drinking Hard Beach. Yep. Or unless it, somebody shows up with a pack. Because nothing says hard, but nothing says party like Hard Beach. You know, like, what is this? A South oh, Carolina really? fucking antebellum ball? Like, Check what's going yourself, on? Georgia. That's right, Georgia. Fucking you ready for Still this? Still antebellum. What? Yeah. Anyway, ingredients. Malt liquor. All okay. right. Awesome. Glucose, fructose, awesome. Just Gotta love those. Yeah. And yeah. or sugar. Well, of course. And or yeah. and or dextrose. Oh, okay. And or dextrose. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All forms. Of so sugar. all three could be in here, or just one, or none, or none. Or none. Tell me, there's aspartame in there too. <laughs> um. No. Grape juice. It's not a real sweetener. Natural and artificial flavor. Citric acid. You, sodium citrate. Potassium sorbate. Sodium benzoate. And uh, sodium wings. benzoate, my favorite flair. There's no peach in here. <laughs> yeah, there's, there was grape in there, but grape there was no juice. peach. And natural and artificial flavor. So I do declare that this is not a drink of the South. So <laughs> the hard peach in the hard peach cooler is grape juice and natural, uh, sorry, artificial peach flavor. <laughs> that I say is a Yankee drink right now. Oh, and um, sulfites in color. <laughs> so this isn't even the original color. It'll burn your well, skin before it satisfies your flavor. So that's a lot of cancerogens and sulfites and a whole bunch of sugar that might be in there. And some and, and a little bit of sodium benzoate just for flavor. Everyone loves... Ooh. Bubbles. Ooh, look at it. Hard as a rock. <laughs> Hard as a rock. <laughs> I have to drink this. Oh man, it's pouring like ginger ale. <laughs> oh, of course for you Americans. That is the ale of and the ginger gives tree. Him of course he gave me all that. Oh, I smell grape ginger juice. Tree? <laughs> I smell. I, I I smell something. I smell like it, it's like a peach. Out of the it, bottle, you get a lot more peach, but out of the glass, I'm getting a bunch. It's, I'm getting um, peach, but I'm also getting grape juice. Mm. It's that candy. The fuzzy peaches? Yeah, it smells like a fuzzy peach. Lots and lots and lots of sugar. Very sweet. It smells like a fuzzy peach, right? Like, really, really sweet, but got that little bit of a peach flavor. Does come from that candy factory? <laughs> what do you call that candy factory that makes it? Willy Wonka and the Chocolate no, Factory? No, 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 that makes peach fuzz. Sour Patch? No, yeah, what's company. that company? Um, what's the company though? Yeah, what is it? Maynard's. Maynard's, Maynard's right. This, this oh, came straight make... from Maynard's. Yeah. From Croup. <laughs> make the wine Croup, the peach company. Anyway, um, oh. <laughs> the ingredients list scares me. This the is going to be very The smell isn't eating. horrible. No, 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 the smell isn't horrible. It does smell like a fuzzy peach. Exactly, like a fuzzy it's peach. Great smell. Whatever. There's no oh. Maynard's made alcohol. <gasps> That's a... Oh! <laughs> that tastes like <coughs> that tastes like grape juice. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it tastes. It has a little bit of. It's like it's it's like someone. There's a little bit of peach in there, but it's mostly grape juice. The grape is being a little yeah, sheet like of clothing. It, yeah. The grape is is definitely uh. It, it's it's come out to grape the peaches. The uh, artificial it's flavor they put in is was not enough. Uh, you do get no, that. You do get all. that rubbery sulfite flavor in the yeah, background. Yeah, it's it's got the it's got the chemical cocktail. It's got the chemical burn. Um, I can taste it on my tongue. Um, yeah, you didn't put enough peach fake flavoring in here no. to hide the uh, <laughs> hide the grape juice. You didn't put enough sugar in here to hide the grape juice. You put oh. so much sugar. Well, possibly put so much sugar in here, and it's only five five. Um, yeah, yeah, it's um. But not not that makes me wonder what thing. type of malt liquor they used if they had to put that much sugar in it. Yeah, for sure. Ah, uh, yeah. Malt liquor in maybe a dirty they, bathtub. Maybe they pulled poured some old E in here and just was like, "All right, put some peach on that." This is smeared off oh, ice. Old English and hard peach, natural combo. Um, yeah, the packaging is garbage. 
Um, this is the kind of thing that you definitely hit your buddy over the head with when he, he tries to sleep with your high school girlfriend. Uh, 5.5, not so much. Typical standard, 330. The percentage even sucks on it. Yeah, well, it's, it's average for a cooler, right? Like, no, coolers, coolers are like usually 7%. 7. Are they? Yeah. Oh, well, that's even worse. This is bullshit. Yeah. I have to drink all this and I'm not even going to get that fucked up for it? As an 18-year-old girl, I'd be very pissed. Mm. Like, this is not a good drink for an 18-year-old girl. Out of 10, Maybe. Timothy. Out of 10, for me, out of 10, I find this not as offensive as most of, like, not not as bad as the Bud Light Lime Mojito or the Limerita, which were really fucking terrible. It is actually better than, I, I find it's actually better than the Smirnoff stuff, but that's way more chemically than this. Because um, this actually has real juice in it. Uh, I don't know how much. But there is real juice in it. Two drops. Um, as an 18-year-old girl, uh, no, I, I wouldn't drink this. A, it's too light. Oh, it's too That's light and it. sweet. Um, you can't really hide vodka in it too well. Um, and the 5.5 means you're not going to become a, a massive drunken whore fast. <laughs> so uh, for 18-year-old girl cooler review, I'm only going to give this a four. For me. Um, standard cooler, weird flavor, kind of gross, bad chemicals. I'll give it a five. Whatever. It's the same. Um, I'm going <laughs> like, to give it a five as well. I mean, it's, it's, it's your average cooler. It, there's a lot of coolers that I like. There's a lot of coolers I don't like. This one's just meh. It's in there. Yeah, I could drink it. I don't know why I'd want to, but I could. Okay. 18-year-old girl review. If you're an 18-year-old girl, do you think you'd drink that? Well, if I was an 18-year-old girl, there's no alcohol taste, and it's all sugar, uh, other than the sulfites. And, I mean, if they've ever licked a condom, they know what that tastes like. So, yeah, I'd drink it as an 18-year-old girl. surely they have. Surely they have. I'd give it a 7 as an 18-year-old girl. <laughs> Wait, thank you, guys. Bye. <laughs> Love it. Honesty from the rhino. Done.